Hi Sky, this is Skyree's, well we're going to call it Death and Bigotry. Um, right now, I have had, I busted two of my fingertips, I shattered them, but I wanted to talk to you about death. I had a really close friend who adored you by the way, um, her name was Cheryl Red, and um, we became friends because she tried to commit suicide. I spoke with her and spoke with her over an evening and the next day and we became really close friends. Um, she passed away last week. Um, she was a beloved friend and your mom loved, loved her just as much. She called me her guardian angel but she didn't realize she was my guardian angel. You know, death, death is going to come. You know, when they say life goes on, that doesn't mean our lives go on. That doesn't mean your life or my life or anybody's life goes on. It means the whole of life is going to go on as long as this universe exists. Somewhere, some way, life will exist in another planet, another unit, you know, another galaxy somewhere. So... I want you to think about that you know when you lose someone close to you the older you get the more people you lose that's just a fact there's no escape in it but the closer you get the more you lose the more that you become wise and like with Cheryl I saved her life about a year ago doesn't mean that I saved her from dying forever though because you can't do that but you can help those along that may be suffering and show them a way out that they don't have to do that. I think it's really important to have a good value system on death because if you don't, then you may end up like daddy and have PTSD and all that kind of stuff. Hopefully not, you know. I mean, your mom do a pretty good job of shielding you right now from the garbage that goes on outside this house. Um, but you know, there'll come a time and you, you know, you turn in 10, 11, 12, 13, and you're starting to make sense of the world around you. Well, the world around you is, it's not a pretty place. Um, it can be beautiful is if you look at it beautiful. If you look at it as ugly, then it's going to be ugly. So the better, the best way for you to look at it is by how you see it. Then I want to talk about bigotry. You'll hear this name in your history classes. His name is Donald Sterling. Well, he came out and he, he bashed black people. And as you know, your sister's black. Um, I don't believe in like African American or stuff like that because I, I believe we're all American. We're all the same. And that goes with bigotry. Bigotry is an ugly head sticking out that people just try to whack back in. You know, it's a, it's a humanly flaw, you know, and it's it's a changeable, it's changeable to where you, you don't have to be a bigot. You can completely change that, you know, but, and I would always advise, you like everyone. If you like everyone, you know, you're not going to be a bigot. If you don't like someone who smokes, well, then you're starting to turn yourself into a bigot. If you don't like someone who's gay, then you're turning yourself into a bigot. You're turning yourself into uh, a man-hating black guy, a man-hating gay black guy. Well, you just whacked away three different bigots there. Man, because you're saying you don't like man. Uh, gay and black she so just knocked out three three blacks or three bigots in one shot easiest way to fix that is just to treat everyone the same and love everyone the same and don't let the bigotry fall into your lap it does people get caught they get nailed Donald Sterling is one guy who got nailed yeah he's racist out the bone what are they doing to him? They're firing him. Do I think they should fire him? No. The guy's worth $2 billion. They could find him $50 million for education for the country. 
and I think we'd find a lot better outcome. But because people are quick to rush to judgment, there it is. They don't like racists, so they're letting their bigotry go in front of them. You know, a racist is a racist. You know, people are going to say you can't say and do stuff. That's bull. Ask your mom if I live by that. Ask your mom. If I'm not around you, ask your mom or you will see me. If I don't like someone, I tell them. But I don't do it because of the color of their skin or who they have sex with or for any other thing. I, it's usually because they disrespected me in some sort of way or fashion. So love all people. It's important to. Because people love you back and you are just so lovable. So I've touched three words. You're smart, you're beautiful, and you're confident. I say them to you every day. I want you to believe in them. And I want you to believe in them after you go and see these videos. Because that's what you are. I've seen it from my own very eyes. You're a healer. You have no idea. You're a healer. I love you, Sky, and sometimes my words may not be the wisest, but I'll do my best to make sure that they're wise enough for you. And that is the best I can do. I love you. Munch.